Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be tackling a repair on my bus back here. That is probably one of the hardest repairs you can do on one, and I think most people will tell you that. And some people would even say if it needs this repair to run away from it. I'm talking about the sliding door track. Now you might be saying, it's just a door track. Well, it is, but the sliding door on a Volkswagen is very fidgety, and if it's not right, the door won't close, it'll stick open, it, all sorts of stuff. So let me flip you around and I'll show you my problem. This is the current state of my sliding door track. Yeah, it's not pretty, it's crusty. This is New England right here. This is, if you had to describe New England using a Volkswagen bus, that's it. So, luckily, my top fit is not awful. We can make that work. So, it's spot welded all along. So the first step is to find those spot welds. Now, I've seen it, it can be hard to find them up here. Some people drill them from down here. But, if you, once you find them, do not drill them out. Because you'll need to drill some locating holes. And I'll get on to that in a bit. Before you even start this repair, get all your repair panels. You're going to need an inner sill, a middle sill with sl sliding door track. Outer sill is optional. You don't need it immediately. Any other thing that you can do while you're here, you know, corner, outriggers, get this propane tank off. I'm letting mine soak because those 13 millimeter bolts don't want to come out. So what I'm going to do to find the spot welds, I've already found one. I'm just going to sand right here with 80 grit. Hopefully the paint stays in the low spots. I'm using a Dura block, so it's going to try and keep it flat. All right, now I've found most of the spot welds on mine. I determined through some deduction that they're approximately two inches apart. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna drill some locating holes, probably three of them, get some bolts that go through. Then we can start. All right, so what I've got now is what I'm gonna call a cleanup disc. 3M makes some um, generic brands make them, um, Harbor Freight sells them. Um, just basically this expanded thing on the arbor. I've stuck it in a drill because the air compressor is being a bit fidgety right now. So we're gonna clean up the area behind here. I've marked all the spot welds for the sliding door track. Uh, my plan now, the top ones are a little hard to see. Very easy to see them from the bottom and they're very big spot welds. So I'm gonna drill an eighth inch pilot hole through them, through top and bottom, then use a bigger drill bit on the top and the eighth inch hole shouldn't matter when I spot weld it back on. Now we're trying to find the spot welds for the inner sill that is nearly non-existent. We're going to get rid of that thing. All right, guys, I got the propane tank off. That was a bit of a pain. I think they're actually 13s. I used a half inch socket on a half inch drive, hammered it on and took it off. 12 point will not cut it when the bolts are that rusty. Uh, couple applications of PP Blaster before and uh, now we should be good so we're gonna get chopping I'm gonna cut this like here cut the outer rocker out or sorry inner rocker then we'll get on with the middle one with the track So here we go, you can see these tabs, this is where outriggers end, this side the outriggers are actually there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to drill out the spot welds for the inner rocker, I'm going to show you some tools that I have for that. So these are mine from work. This is uh, my spot weld kit basically, it's an eighth inch drill bit, spot weld cutter, and a step drill bit. The step drill bit's not as important in this situation. So what we're gonna do, drill an eighth inch pilot, then do the big one. And we can drill right through it for this because it doesn't matter. I love these double-ended drill bits. So I'll show you with one that you can see. We'll go with this. There's also one that I know is exactly where it is. So we're just gonna go. 
Now you would now you would run the eighth inch bit through all of them first. And I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, so that's how I'm swapping. Then you're gonna take this. And that's when the camera decided it didn't want to film anymore. So as I was saying, after you drill the eighth inch pilot hole. Let's take the spot weld cutter, which is bigger. It's about a quarter inch or five sixteenths. It's around there. The ones I found put in the description it comes with both sizes. But you take that and you drill through the top layer of metal. Now you don't want to mess up the bottom one um, in this situation because you're using it, at least in the slider track. So you want to try to keep it just an eighth inch hole so you can still weld to it. And you'll kind of feel. When you go through the first layer of metal, if it makes any sense, then you can stop. Then you keep moving along, and there you go. So, back to the actual video. Alright, so I drilled out the spot welds I could find. Now this is the outer sill that these spot welds are attached to. So now what we're going to try, I'm going to grab it and just... See what happens, you know? Hopefully, I can get it to fall out and just wiggle it, break the welds. All right guys, so here is the inner sill fitted. I've got three or four, three screws holding it in. I do have to do something with the outriggers and the, I don't want to call them the top hats, but I think that's what they are because only one of them is solid enough where I'm going to keep it, but I, I could probably just make an end for it, because tomorrow is welding day. Well, guys, today is the last day that this bus can be in the driveway, I think, unless it's a miracle. So I'm really cranking. I'm trying to get this the rockers done, at least this side. And uh, there it is, sliding door track out, locating holes in place. I should be able to weld it pretty well up will be golden so let's start fitting some stuff all right guys so i'm just prepping up the inner rocker for welding now cleaning off the top edge here i'll be spraying it with some sim copper weld um i was using a cleanup disc but it's just not going fast enough so i'm gonna just cut through it with some sandpaper hopefully and uh, we'll get it on all right guys so i got the inner rocker tacked on last night this morning we're gonna finish up that then get the sliding door track part done I think I said this before, I have SEM copper weld on the new rocker and on the back side of this. I don't know if you can tell, I'm putting a lot of heat into these. This is an area that is structural, so I'm trying to get the best I can. A lot of these are turning out really good. This thing is not going anywhere. All right guys, so I'm about to put the track on the new part of track, the upper track is gonna get welded to the bottom part. So you can see I've cut excess metal. I left tabs to locate it. Now this shouldn't be an issue because I had these tabs on here when I test fit the door. My plan, I'm gonna run tacks in the back. Hold it on there, nice and good. And we'll get this on. And I've sprayed the top surface with copper weld. All right guys, so here's the door on the track. I don't have any footage of me hanging the door. I can't close it all the way with this attached because I'm missing the front part of the latch here. But I can assure you that it latches because I had it latched and closed without that attached. But just to show you, slides and uh, if I set you up like that, Show 
get a latch. All right, guys, so it's time we weld the track on. It's aligned. Got quite a few alignment screws. I'm gonna start welding. Let's get cracking. All right, guys, so before I tried to open this door, it would smash on the ground. Right now, it opened. All right, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Very exciting to get the sliding door track done. A lot of people say it's a hard repair, but hopefully this video kind of made it seem easier for you. It's definitely not the hardest thing to do. It just takes a lot of pre-planning like doing the pilot hole so that the track can't move because if the track moves the door's not going to close right but as you saw my door closes pretty well for you know 50 years old and that's because the pilot holes kept the top track where it needed to be so if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like and uh, a comment really appreciate it and uh, if you need any help with this thing like if you've got any questions feel free to shoot me an email you can find that in the about tab if you just go to my channel the main channel page and there's the you know videos and playlists and that there's an about tab my email will be there send me an email and i'll be glad to help you out as best as i can uh, until next time guys though thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care bye